Hi Nini and Kindred, it's Tabby, and I wanted to share my first two finished objects of 2023! Whee! Um, but let's actually talk about a fail first. So, not every project goes to plan. So for my last video, I wanted to knit a vest. My last video was um, different ways to style suspenders and vests together, and I wanted to knit a vest for that video, and I did, but it flopped. So this is the Lion Brand pattern. This is the Smartly Striped Vest, and I just had this pink leftover from one of my other projects, and I just wanted to knit a solid vest. I opted not to do the stripes. Um, but I finished it, and I really didn't care for the shape. Um, and it rolls a lot because it's stocking knit, and it doesn't have any kind of neck band. And I realized this is not a very great color for um, a vest. So that was a fail. I'm just going to rip it apart. Um, I don't know if I'll ever knit a vest that I like, but that was not it. So my two finished objects that I do really like. This is my second underlaced top. This is a pattern by Lily, by Lily Kate France, or Lily Kate Makes. One of the two. I have knit her top, this top before. I knitted this blue one last year. Um, and I liked it, but it was kind of snug, so this is the second smallest size, and this is the third smallest size, so I sized up, and this is a paid-for pattern that is knit on a size 3 needle. Um, I have all these leftovers that I want to use, so these two colors on the top are leftovers from my fashion show project. I knitted out a bunch of gloves to go with my looks last year or the year before. Time flies, I can't remember. So these two were left over from the gloves. And then I kind of wanted to do like a subtle kind of like find, find your fade kind of sweater. So all these yarn except for two are leftovers. Um, this one is actually a leftover. This is a um, lace weight and I don't remember the brands of yarns, they're all hand dyed except for the knit picks. Um, oh, yeah. So these two, I believe, are hand dyed. This is knit picks. Maybe this is, I can't remember what that is either. I know I bought it in Sacramento. Anyway, so this is one is actually a lace weight, but I held it double. Um, it's leftovers from my Loki shawl, and I just thought that it was a better transition because there was three or four different times where I had picked out different greens in my um, stash that I was knitting and I put the colors together and they just didn't look quite right or one of the greens I had was more of a green blue and this is more of like a green green shade so I went and held this double um, and then I had enough and then at this point I was like I needed a darker green but I don't really have any one the one that I had was more of a green blue so I ordered, I think, five different shades of green from Knit Picks. Um, I like this one, and I was like, I will just knit the rest of it. And this darker green, I will, won't do the 16 row stripe anymore. I'll just finish it off with this darker green, have a, like a thicker section of that color. And then this time, I think I actually did the fold up stitching hem a lot better than the first one because it's a lot more stretchy. It's easier to pull over my head. Um, I feel like this. The sweater came out a little bit shorter than the blue one, but I don't know if the type of yarn that I used in the blue one just stretches more, and this one is more of a less stretchier fiber, if that makes any sense. And then I decided to keep this green yarn too. I decided that I wanted not to use any of the colors that I used in the main body of the top for the lace. I wanted the lace to have its own moment and stand out in this very... Like, it looks like I knit lettuce, but it's cute. And I think this time around, I had a better time with the lace. Like, I don't think I messed it up as badly with the first sweater I knitted. So I'm overall really pleased with the sweater. I've worn it a few times. Um, actually started another underlace one. I have this uh, variegated that's actually doing its own striping thing. So I'm just going to use the variegated. I'm not going to stripe it. Um, this is one, this is from Hobby Lobby, so they have this, I think it's like stone colorway, um, and that's the way it's working up. I'm really excited for the, these tops, it's going to be my summer wardrobe. I've actually worn this quite a few times already and got a lot of compliments, 
And then once I was done with the top, I had a decent amount of yarn left over from the colorways that I bought from Knit Picks, from uh, some of the other yarns. So I thought, why not, you know, just knit a cute little beret to go with it. So I started with a different beret. It had mohair in it, but then I thought maybe that would be just too warm to wear with a summery top. So I went with this one. This one is a free pattern. I really like how it turned out. I think it's really adorable. It's the Thimbleweed Beret, free on Ravelry. It actually is a design to go with a shawl. I don't know if I'll ever knit the shawl, but I like this because it has lace panels in it that kind of go with the lace on the top. Um, my only part that I don't really like was that I did put like this colorway in the hat just because I was running out of yarn, um, and that's the way it worked. I don't think it really goes with the other darker yarn. So I started with the darker yarn, the darkest yarn in the middle, and then it worked out. So most berets I've knit start from like the rib and go up. This is the first beret, and I knit this on size two and a half DPNs, and DPNs are not my favorite, but it's really cute and I really like it. Um, so this one starts with a crown. So you start in the middle and you work out. You do a provisional cast on, which I've never done. I've never did a cast on where you're gonna rip it out and put sew it up. So that was kind of different. I think it worked. Um, and then you increase out and you go into the lace and then you do, um, in this picture, just two colors, but I did striping again. So like I started with the darker color, I did the lace and the one color, and then I went for the darker, like the lighter green. So I just started with the darkest and then as I got out, went lighter and lighter. But I think it's really cute for some reason. I think these greens look kind of like vintage-y. So it's not a vintage pattern, it's a modern pattern, but my green top with the green beret, I feel like it looks more like 30s, 1930s vintage kind of style. Um, where I feel like my blue top looks a little more modern. I don't know what it is about the colors that I think comes across that way. I could be totally wrong. But I think they're really cute projects. Um, I'm happy with the way they turned out and I'm excited to wear them around. My friend is going to be in Clue at the end of the month and I'm going to go see the play. And I thought this would be a fun little moment to wear, like a professor, like a green, Mr. Green moment. He's actually Professor Plum in the play, but it does, doesn't matter. Um, my thing to wear to plays apparently are sweaters and berets. So I thought that would be really cute to wear. I don't really have green shoes, but I could throw some green bows on some shoes I already have. So just, you know, like, not be in theme for the play. Anyway. So this is the amount of yarn I had left over from the one skein. Um, these, the ones I got from Knit Picks, are the palette yarn, the fingering weight. So I think this is Pea Pod. And then the other one, the darker one is Forest Heather. There is a couple other shades that I got in and sit back. But these are the DPMs I used. I used the wooden ones. Um, I think they're like bamboo and they're size US size 2 and then this is what I had left over between the lace, the hat, um, I'll probably throw it in a blanket, I don't know what I'll actually use it for but again I'm really happy with these two uh, finished items, I think they're really cute and I'll get a lot of wear out of them this summer. They go really well with the skirt I made quite a few years ago, I have the capris left over from the fashion show that I could also wear these pieces with. Um, I have a brown skirt that I could wear it with, some more like, I don't know, earthy tones. Um, yeah, I just think it's a great set. I would recommend knitting the underlace top. I'm going to knit three of them. This is my second. I'm working on my third. Um, and I would also recommend this beret. I think it's really cute. If you want to knit, knit the beret and the shawl and have a little matching set, that would be also cute. Um, and the same colors. Or if you want to knit the beret to go with maybe a different sweater, that would also be cute. I'm really into matchy matchy things. Um, part of like the vintage aesthetic that appeals to me is that like matching accessories and matching pieces. And I just really enjoy that. So, um, thanks for all the new subscribers that have recently joined and want to see this kind of knitting content. If you have a project that you're working on, let me know. Leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And have a fun day knitting your own projects.